Mixed education is a particular concern to Muslim parents. Tradition demands separate schooling for girls after the age of puberty. The current scarcity of single-sex schools has encouraged the Muslim community to find alternatives, establishing their own small private schools where Islamic values are observed. These young women are studying for their GCSE exams at the Muslim Girls' School in Leicester. While I was at a mixed school, I used to feel really torn between the two cultures. The, the life that my British friends used to, well, I consider myself British too, my English friends used to lead, and the life that I led at home. And sometimes, you know, you really felt like um, acting as everybody else does. But in the end, when you have an argument or something, they still say, you know, oh, you're Indian, you are, you know. Like, at home, I didn't used to fit in very well because my parents, I didn't used to agree with what they say and everything. So you're, you're not accepted in either of them. Well, when I was in English schools, because I was black, um, and, and also a Muslim, they used to come up and say, you know, why? You know, you're supposed to be Christian. You're just supposed to be this. And I, 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 would, I didn't have too much problems with that because I'm not Asian and I don't have Asian cultures, you know? So, I mean, I, I fit in with them perfectly. But it was always that, you know, covering me with the pants and, you know, with a scarf and things that bothered them. So I used to have to be strong in telling them I'm black, but I'm Muslim and accept me how I am because you can't change it. <laughs> Muslim campaigners are demanding the same level of support from government grants as Catholic, Jewish and Church of England schools. So far their demands have fallen on deaf ears. Critics believe segregated education for girls is inappropriate for growing up in the West and delays integration. I'm saying that children won't integrate in society if they go to an all-girls school is pretty ludicrous. What about people who go to boarding schools and, I mean, um, even, even to a certain extent, private schools. I mean, you don't mix with all kinds of people there, only those people who can afford to come to such a school. I mean, we're not half as, um, as cut off. If there were more Muslim girls' schools, I think they would be very popular because yeah. parents would prefer their daughters to be sent there because they think that the Islamic culture can be more secure from generation to generation. I mean, if you educate a mother, you educate a family. A lot of um, white people think that um, Muslim women, Muslim women are, are inherited in every possible way. You, you have to do this, you can't do that, this sort of thing. But um, if we were, we'd be the first to speak out. I mean, we're not dummies or something. And um, if, if they think that we're not allowed to further our education or everything or anything like that, then they should perhaps come and take a look without passing judgments from afar. The reason why Muslims stay with Muslims and the Hindus stay with Hindus is because they have an understanding. They don't feel the need to um, be ashamed of their religion almost. Because in this country, people don't, as a rule, have very strong religious values. We don't just, like, when we're finished in the evening, you know, all our household jobs and finish, come back from school and finish watching television. Yes, okay, we have a few hours spare. Let's practice.